North Massachusetts sees its share of visitors. But if you're looking to ditch the tourist traps and eat like a local, this is a good place to land. Dylan's Local is a place for all the locals to come to enjoy a good meal, great drinks. When we opened, we wanted a place that we would want to go to because there's tons of places to go all around town and we wanted somewhere where you don't always know what you're going to get, but you're going to get something you really enjoy. That's Samantha Bradley, who along with her fiance, Colin Dillon, and friend Chris Howland have worked in restaurants around Plymouth for years. The three of us have been working together at every restaurant in town. We all just wanted to try it out for ourselves. We've been doing it for somebody else forever. We figured, why not give it a shot? So when they decided to open a place of their own, they created a homey vibe where folks from the neighborhood would want to hang. It's kind of like walking into our living room. My son's here all day. I'm here with my fiance, one of our best friends is the other owner. So it's just one big family. We all work together and play together afterwards. We open for the locals, as the name says, Dylan's Local. Obviously, we get a bunch of tourists, but we definitely open for the people that live in town. We thought Plymouth was missing a nice little pub where you can come and feel at home and feel comfortable and get a nice cocktail. Come in by yourself, come in with friends. You'll be comfortable no matter what. And that comfortable feeling pairs perfectly with some comfort food. There are crunchy fish tacos, stuffed with fried cod and a pineapple ginger salsa, refreshing lettuce wraps filled with blackened mahi-mahi, and a roasted corn and crab meat salsa, and tasty pulled pork carnitas. The little six inch tortillas and we fry them real quick. We do barbecue braised pork and then that goes on there with some caramelized onions, also homemade barbecue sauce. It gets finished with a apple balsamic coleslaw. So you have a really nice crunch from the shell and then the bitter slaw on top. It's a very good food combination. Since you're steps away from Plymouth Harbor here, seafood is a must. Well, we're right next to the water. We wanted to showcase as much local food as we can. You can't get more local than having it come off the pier and onto your plate. So you can start with a cup of creamy clam chowder. Clam chowder has leeks, bacon, tons of potatoes. It's thick and delicious, great flavor. The leeks and bacon pull through with a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of the meatiness. It's delicious. And follow it up with a cornbread encrusted local cod served on a cranberry risotto with sauteed baby spinach. Or for something truly original, try Dylan's seafood spin on a Reuben. We're really known for our regular Reuben here, so it's coming into summertime, so I'm like, oh, why not just put a Reuben on with fish? So just fried fish, coleslaw instead of sauerkraut, Russian and Gruyere cheese on grilled marble rye. Just a good classic version of a classic sandwich. Being an Irish pub at heart, Dylan's offers staples like Guinness fish and chips. It's a huge plate, huge piece of fish, nice thick batter, but not too thick with huge steak fries and house-made coleslaw. It's just perfect. And they turn some traditional Irish fare on its head with concoctions like the shepherd's pie pizza. Your classic shepherd's pie, but instead of just the way mom used to make it, we put it on top of a pizza, because why not? Gets the beef gravy as the sauce, then ground sirloin, carrots, corn, onions, about two pounds of mashed potatoes, and and cheddar cheese goes in the oven and definitely a fork and knife pizza. The menu continues its trip across the globe with entrees like the cassoulet. It's actually a traditional French dish, even though we're Irish pub down by the water in Plymouth. Roasted duck leg with pancetta, cannellini beans, linguiça, and pork belly, all roasted in Madeira wine. It's our take on a traditional French dish, and it's one of my favorites. And then there's the Spanish seafood paella. Another non-Irish dish at an Irish bar. Spanish rice with local scallops, shrimp, and little neck. A little bit of linguiça, tomatoes, just sautéed with a little bit of saffron and some wine. We make the Spanish rice separate and just add it in, toss it all together, and there you go. But nothing beats a good surf and turf. And at Dillon's, it's truly tasty. The New York sirloin's 14 ounce Angus beef. It's delicious. It's well complimented with a little citrus hollandaise, some lobster strings on top to make it a little more exciting. This mashed potatoes and asparagus, it's a perfect dinner to fill you up. And if you're not filled to the brim, a piece of carrot cake is most definitely in order. It has a nice cream cheese frosting. It's rich and moist. It has the nuts inside. It's a perfect way to end a meal. And whether you're from up the street or across the country, you'll feel like a local when you're at Dylan's Local. I want everybody to enjoy themselves like it was their own kitchen, but better. That's what we really thought was missing from Plymouth, somewhere where you could go and feel at home. No matter where you're from, we want you to feel at home. Mm -hmm.